speaks. We pray in 2020, it would be born again. We pray for your spirit to move across our nation and we humble ourselves and we pray. We repent of personal sins and national sins and we humbly ask you to bless our nation and to bless our president, Donald Trump. Lord, I thank you that America didn't need a preacher in the Oval Office. It did not need a professional politician in the Oval Office, but it needed a fighter and a champion for freedom. And Lord, that's exactly what we have. I thank you, Lord, that he doesn't claim to be perfect, but he is passionate. He's passionate for the, to stop the merciless killing of the unborn. He's passionate to raise people from poverty and six million have been moved from food stamps to the dignity of work. He is passionate, oh God, to see our Supreme Court filled with men and women who will stand for justice for all. And Lord, we thank you for all that you have begun. And now that you have begun it in our nation, in the middle, we pray that you would bless. Beginnings are wonderful. Endings are wonderful, but in the middle, we need your help. In the middle of the race, the runner needs his second win. In the middle, oh God, of a battle, the reinforcements need to come in. So send your power and your presence to touch this president. Show him who you are. Show him your love. Show him the love of the people. And Lord, do something so great in him and in this nation. That the pundits on TV and the news anchors will be amazed at how great America is because God is great in America again. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I want you to stretch your hands toward him, please. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we come before you, Lord. We present our president. We come together from all denominations, all races together. As the Bible says, to pray for those in authority. Father, let your kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, I pray for my president and our president. I pray for you to give him boldness. I pray, Father, for him to defy and challenge giants in the world and defy and challenge the enemies in this nation. Father, I pray for him and I raise them up in prayer. We come together in Jesus' mighty name. We believe we speak in his body. We pray healing. We pray restoration. We pray strength in his mind and his spirit all over his being. Be strengthened with the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, we pray right now for the Holy Spirit to invade this place. For the Holy Spirit, for the presence to experience the the presence of the living God. We pray for that resurrected power of Jesus Christ. For him to say Jesus is alive. Father I pray all of all this together. We come together and we pray we stand with him. And what he's doing. And Father we give you the praise. We give you the honor and father we give you the praise and honor and we ask you father that he can be the cyrus to bring reformation to bring change into this nation and all the nations of the earth will will say america is the greatest nation of the earth father i thank you use him this time release his power i release the holy spirit upon his life for the holy spirit to strengthen him his spirit soul and body and father i release wisdom from heaven and I declare God that you use them to change the spiritual atmosphere of this nation father I give you the praise and I give you the honor in Jesus mighty name amen and amen amen and now as we stretch our hands we secure your purpose we secure your calling given victory after victory victory after victory we declare that no weapon formed against him will be able to prosper and every demonic altar that has been erected against him will be torn down we declare that he will rise high and he is seated in heavenly places surround him with people of prayer and let him walk out the will of god in jesus name and everybody shouted 